More tiny cookie cakes. Yes, that is what we are creating today. Taking my favorite cookies and turning them into cakes. Hey everyone, my name is Rosario Dawson. Welcome to Quality Pops. Let's get started. Now, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button and let me know in the comments what cake you'd like to see me make next. Now, if you haven't seen it already, I made a first video with three different cookie cakes. My friend Ricky told me that tiny cakes are trending and I should hop on it. And apparently I hopped on it two years too early and then forgot about the footage. And so now we're producing the video in 220. So I haven't seen this footage for two years. I'm excited to watch it with you and see what I decided to create two years ago. So let's get to these tiny cookie cakes and go. Oh, so this is an Oreo story. We got an Oreo, we got some buttercream, oh and some sprinkles. I feel like this is a birthday cake. I kind of remember this being a birthday cake. I think I'd want an Oreo birthday cake, so that's why I did it. <laughs> Oreo's like my go-to with ice cream, with birthday cakes, with everything. So we've got some white buttercream going on. And I'm just gonna smoothen it as, oh man. Look at all those sprinkles. Oh, I remember sweeping all those sprinkles. <laughs> they got everywhere. <laughs> So this is just like the most amazing tiny birthday cake with rainbow sprinkles. Oh my gosh! And tiny candles. <laughs> what are those? I don't even know. It looks like thread, maybe? But I made tiny candles for this cake. I'm loving it. Oh, how adorable. Now in this video, I did want to highlight organizations that are helping people who are deeply affected by the coronavirus. There are links in the description box, so if you can donate time or money, please do. Now let's get back to these cakes. Oh, so for the next cake, I'm using a red velvet Chips Ahoy cookie. That's what it is. Because I love Chips Ahoy, the red velvet. Not as good as the chocolate chip, but it's still pretty good. So we got some buttercream going on. And oh, I think this is just gonna be a red velvet cake. So we got red velvet cookie crumbs going on. Oh, so we got some buttercream piped out on top and then this like pool of caramel. Caramel and red velvet cake is so good together. That's why I did it. Oh wow, that is so satisfying. I'd wanna eat a whole cake like that. I could probably eat like four or five of these tiny cookie cakes on my own. And during coronavirus, probably like seven or eight. Who knows? I mean, you binge watch a show, you eat four more cookie cakes. One more cookie cake to go. What did I do? Let's see. I don't remember. Let's 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 go down memory lane together. So this is a golden Oreo. So it's vanilla. It's cookie butter buttercream. I remember doing that. So we're layering three golden Oreos on top of each other, and then we're just gonna give this baby a crumb coat. Actually, I think it's a full coat of buttercream. And then, what is it? Oh, that's right, I made that. We're making a galaxy cake, a galaxy cookie cake. So I added two layers of glaze. I added a black layer of glaze first, just to smoothen it out. And then I added my galaxy layer. What? On a tiny cookie cake? Oh my God. <laughs> I'm like losing my voice and I'm super excited so the pitch is going up. I don't know. This video is all over the place. But I made a tiny galaxy cookie cake. <gasps> wow. I was really going for it two years ago. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. These are three awesome cake ideas and the fact that I tinified them. I invented that word. Tinified. Tiny of five. It's just spectacular. Did I eat them? I don't even remember if I ate them. Oh, I hope I ate them. Now, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see me make more tiny cookie cakes, let me know what cookie you'd like to turn into a cake and what kind of cake you'd want me to create. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I am like having the time of my life watching this footage. I love you. I'll see you very soon. Peace.